on Monday, got up and worked on a funeral homily and celebrated a funeral. And then afterwards, I had a few meetings here at the parish. On Tuesday, had confessions and school mass. I had funeral planning with another family. And then I drove to Indianapolis for a council of priests meeting with the archbishop and then came back that evening for adoration and taught an RCIA class. On Wednesday, I spent most of that day in preparation for a meeting that was happening on Thursday with the archdiocese again, and then spent the afternoon, uh, or after all that preparation in the afternoon and morning, uh, had mass and a baptism and another meeting that night here at the parish. Thursday, I went in, uh, to Liberty and talked to middle schoolers and high schoolers early Thursday morning, came back, celebrated the school mass and had confessions, and then uh, I was in Indianapolis for that meeting with the Archdiocese. Friday, had mass in morning, and then went to Indianapolis all day to work at Dad's, uh, my father's, places of business. Came back in the evening, had a meeting with parishioners, and then gave a late night talk uh, to high schoolers over at uh, the Haven last night. And then today had confessions and then a funeral and other things. And everyone's busy, right? And that's not my point. Today, as I was coming in after the funeral mass, I saw our Advent candle stand, candles in it, and no wreath. No wreath in the Advent candle stand, and we were hours away from Advent being here. And immediately, I thought to myself, how did you forget about the Advent wreath? You've known Advent is coming since last Christmas. How did you forget about this? How did you allow yourself to prepare all week for all these other meetings, but you forgot to prepare for the season that is about preparation. How did you forget that? And I wasn't really yelling at myself, which is making it more dramatic. How did you forget about the Advent wreath? In our gospel today, we hear our Lord predicting what it will be like and bidding us to be prepared to be ready for his second coming, to be able to stand before the Son of Man. And prior to all that, he says there will be signs. He said there will be signs in the sun, in the stars, in the moon, and the heavens will be shaken. The heavens themselves will be shaken. And the ancients, people of Jesus' day and prior, they used the sun and the moon and the stars. They used the heavens to navigate, to get around, to travel long distances. They looked to the heavens for these beacons, these guideposts that would show them the way to their destination. And our Lord says that these things, these signs, these guideposts, these beacons of light that will show us the way and have traditionally shown us the way, they will be shaken. And that's his plan. is to kind of shake us out of using our normal beacons and guideposts that are there to get us through the day. Right? And what are those things? It's, it's our calendars. And also, whatever is right in front of our face. I feel like most of the time, that's what guides each and every one of us through our day is our calendar, and then whatever else comes up. And we don't have time, or we don't feel we have time, we don't make the time to really allow those things to not be our guideposts. Advent is a time where our Lord wants to shake those things, to shake our calendars, to shake us out of the busyness, 
to shake us out of the things that are right in front of our face, not to ignore them. They've all got to get done. We know that. But to himself become the sun and the moon and the stars. To himself become the heavens that guide us through our daily life. This is the light that he wants to be for us. This is the role that he comes to play for us as Savior, is to guide us in this time of preparation, in this time of waiting for his second coming. Last weekend, I issued that challenge that for every 15 minutes, right, in these coming weeks, for every 15 minutes that we spend on shopping lists and parties and just the commercialized aspects of this season, to spend five minutes in prayer. You are busy, and your lives are going to be a lot more busy over these next four to six weeks. What if part of that prayer time that we are all committing ourselves to, we bring our calendars with us? We bring the tasks that we need to accomplish with us to prayer. We bring our checklists with us. These things that have traditionally been these guideposts, these things by which we navigate daily life, we bring those to our Lord in the light of Christ in this season of Advent. Practically what I'm suggesting is bring with you to prayer your calendars. Go through your weeks. Go through your day and lift each and every single one of those things up to our Lord in prayer. Asking his blessing, asking his guidance. Lord, come in to my work. Lord, come in to my family. Lord, come in to my relationships. Lord, come in to my extracurriculars. Lord, come in to my volunteering and bless it all. Bless it all and through it all, prepare me and guide me back to you who are our Savior and the one we are preparing to encounter every single day, every single day.